hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video um, we're gonna do like a testing basically a few weeks ago I found this trend where you bake and then to remove the XX powder you use water like you bathe in water basically so um, I did a little bit of research and I found that it was a Korean beauty like hat and it's called Jamsu and initially I saw it on Instagram I saw two different beauty vloggers testing it out and I was like what is this so I decided to try that today because why not I was so intrigued so let's just get it popping um the first thing I'm gonna do I already have my brows filled in and I use um this NYX uh, eyebrow gel I haven't used this in a long time it's an espresso and um I haven't used it in a while so it was like giving me the hardest time ever um but I use that just because I don't know how it actually reacts to like water actually reacts to different types of powders so I just went with an eyebrow gel because I know it's pretty waterproof and then as for primer I'm just going to use uh the my current favorite primer which is the Nivea Men post shave balm I don't know why I just squinted so I'm just gonna put that all over my skin and I freaking love this stuff it smells so good and it makes my makeup last like so long and then as for eyes I'm just gonna skip it just because I don't know what's gonna happen with the foundation and everything or with the water and everything I don't want to get anything on my eyes and in my contacts and stuff and then I'm gonna use a stick foundation just because it's what I've been loving and then to buff it in my skin I'm using the Morphe E6 And now I'm moving on to concealer. Um, you know the drill. I really want to try some new concealers out. So if you guys have favorites, let me know down below. I've, if it's one thing that I'm skeptical with um, when finding new like makeup products and everything, it's concealers and foundations. Just because my skin color is really hard to match and um i look crazy so let me know your favorite concealers in the comment section below to blend it out i'm just using the morphe e8 um it's just very it's a small pretty small brush and it's really good for blending out concealer what's up there has been a lot of crazy changes i just moved into a bigger warehouse for jeffree star cosmetics things are expanding and growing like crazy so if you only see me at home and at the office and on camera it's because i don't have any free time which is a good thing and i'm so blessed to be able to you know wake up every day and do what i love besides our new little pomeranian daddy there is another new roommate in my house he's younger brother he's turning 21 in december so all you boys yeah if you've never seen this this definitely has to be in my okay so now as for powder i'm i'm deciding to do two different powders just to see the difference with the quality so i'm using the matte prep and prime transparent finish finishing powder and um this is my go to powder oh my god both of these actually are and then this is the rimmel stay matte and translucent or transparent sorry um finishing powder so uh, i've done this in videos before but to actually make this loose ooh, i take the top and then i just scrape it and kind of chop it up my own little concoction and this is another beauty trick that I saw from someone I, honestly I don't remember who it was um, but I saw from them like a while ago let me go get the water first and I'll be right back okay my hair looks absolutely insane I apologize but I really didn't want to have it down because we're going to dip our face in water so bear with me okay so after making sure I don't have any creases so I really don't set the creases I'm gonna take a makeup sponge and this is just a like disposable one. I really like to use um, these. These are from Coastal Scents and they're actually really, really good. Coastal Scents? Cinema Secrets, sorry. They're really, really good. 
I'll leave a link down below. Um, it's what I use in my kit and then I use one, not all the time, but sometimes to set my makeup. So I'm just gonna dip it in the powder and then set my face, oh my God. And then now I'm gonna take my MAC Prep and Prime. So now that I look like a reverse panda, you get it cause they usually have black eyes and I have white because of the powder. Powder in my mouth. Um, I'm gonna dip my face into a bowl of cold water for 30 seconds. And you're supposed to do it um, for 30 seconds. I have a towel here ready in my disposal. Okay, here's my pink bowl. I'm just gonna count because I really can't work a phone while doing this. So here we go. <sighs> 10 seconds down. Last 10 seconds. Hold on. Okay, so uh, just kind of dabbing the driplets off. So I feel insane. Is that what waterboarding feels like? As you can see, it didn't fully take it all off, which is really strange. Cause now what am I supposed to do? But it did take off the um, MAC powder nicely. I guess we'll go back in for more. I don't know, this was really weird. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like I'm just like literally trying to kill myself, so. But looking in the water, I can see powder and foundation, I think. It's like floating. Okay, I'm going back in to try to get the rest of this off. So, in conclusion, I'm not a huge fan. I got some something in my eye. I can't even, honestly, I can't tell you what it is. And then there's powder residue still on my face. I'm just kind of like trying to buff it in. Okay, so I'm attempting to remove the powder with a little tapered brush that I have here from e.l.f. So, um, that was interesting. So I'm gonna try to do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, it was a little hard to apply um, or to blend out my contour and stuff. But my skin is like really freaking soft. Oh my God, it's so soft. You can't see my pores, which is really strange. I live, but um, I don't know. It's like a distinct line between my, and maybe that's just my concealer. Look at my, yeah. Um, but there's like a distinct line between that and like my under eye and the rest of my face, in the camera at least. In real life, not so much. And then the highlights, I stopped doing blush like a long time ago, I just don't really like it. It's not my fave. Um, but the highlight is like, it's there. Oh, I can really only see it because I do have my lights. But it's 
real subtle, real subtle. I didn't put any lip on, one sec. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, I just applied my normal face and then as for highlighter, I used Opal. And then my lips are Max Charred Red, which is a matte. And first I'm wearing this shade, but I really, really like it. As for highlight, it's really subtle. Like, can you guys even see it? I used um, Becca's Opal, which is a beautiful shade, but it came up really subtle. So let me try um, Artist Couture in Sugar Daddy, literally called Sugar Daddy, Sugar Daddy. To apply it, I'm just gonna use uh, BH Cosmetics Fan Brush. So I applied that and it's bolder, yes, but it's still really, light and I, I'm kind of digging it I kind of like the subtle um, appearance and then as for my brows they look more natural and my hairs are all over the place I didn't I didn't use a setting gel I just used the um, gel but overall definitely the Mac side is so much better even after buffing the ex excess powder off just the max side was much better than the um, Rimmel side. It was really hard to blend in um, my contour shade and my crease. I just did a light like um, crease today. It was really hard to blend that out again on the Rimmel side. And then it was it was still a little challenging on this side, but like I said, I'm much much more easier. So on a scale of one to ten, what do I give this trend? seven only because it's really really impractical um i mean it's i would say it's kind of worth it off the bat it's kind of worth it because your face feels so good like and then when you do this it feels like you have nothing on your face i just feel like i washed my face but i actually have a full face of makeup on which is so strange right um but it's really really impractical like who's just gonna go get a bowl of water and just dip their face in like but for special occasions maybe let's see how it does with flash so i did the flash on my phone we look crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the description box what videos you guys want to see i have some major halloween videos that are um that are coming up that I'm gonna film and I'm so excited for them. What did you think of this trend? I dare you to try it out and see what, how you feel about it because I'm still like, do I trust you? So let me know what you guys think about that. Leave it in the comment section below. So yeah, I will see you guys pretty soon with a new video. Adios.